Hello, this is Joe Pryor of the virtual real estate team.com in Oklahoma City. Uh, and you know, one of the questions I get from a lot of people right now is they say, Joe, you know, it's 2014, the meltdown started in 2008, and a lot of distressed property is off the market and has been bought up by uh, individual investors, corporate investors. Is it too late to get in to real estate investing? And in some cases, of course, I would say yes. There are some markets that I believe are played out, but many markets are not, and it is not too late to get into the market. And let me tell you why. There's a couple of things going on right now that are going to depress the market for owner occupants as we go through the year. Number one is we've been very cushy here and going, wow, I'll just wait, you know, and see if it goes from 3.5% on my interest rate to three. Well, folks, it's going in the other direction. We're approaching 5% on a 30-year mortgage, and that is gonna go higher, we think as high as 6%. That's gonna take some people out of the market. The second thing that's going on is quantitative easing, and quantitative easing is being reduced, and so because of that particular reason, uh, we're seeing those uh, interest rates not being favorable. So the Federal Reserve is not participating like they were in the housing market. Now another thing, and another way that the federal government is participating in what we call qualitative mortgage analysis. And this is where uh, it's, being, it, it's getting a little bit tougher for you to qualify for a mortgage. It's gonna be much, much harder. Uh, and so that is another thing. I and mean, you may uh, kind of sit on your hands for a while for the next couple of years because you just can't qualify for the mortgage. They wanna make sure that you can repay after we've gone through uh, subprime lending where everybody could qualify. And so we've kind of turned the screws in the other direction. Now, another thing uh, about this is, is this new generation, this Gen Y, the under 32s, uh, you know, they are saddled with an enormous amount of student loan debt, in fact, in the trillions now, and it's actually higher than credit card debt. And so, you know, it's estimated right now that if there's a new Gen Y person coming into the market on a job, it's gonna take them at least seven years to save up enough money and get their credit in the right place in order to buy a home. Essentially, what I'm saying to you is that there are markets like Oklahoma City that are very, very strong markets with high rentals, with job growth, with population growth, without an overabundance of corporate investors that have gone into the sexier markets like Phoenix and Las Vegas. And so because of these trends that we see, and these aren't the only trends, the above 55s, that are going into adult communities where they're renting and they're selling their homes. There's all sorts of opportunity right now for investment real estate, and we're diversifying in that respect. So the simple answer is, is it too late to invest in real estate? In some cases, yes. In places like Oklahoma City, I see the next five years as being very, very strong. I see our return on investment uh, very, very strong also. We can show you what these rates look like. I think you're gonna be impressed with the lower risk, higher yield type real estate investments here. So no, it's not too late in Oklahoma City. We do wanna to talk to you. Let us show you our portfolio of the various opportunities that you can get into. This is Joe Pryor of the virtual real estate team.com in Oklahoma City, where we deliver traditional real estate values at the speed of technology.